yeah, it 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 wasn't very good. <laughs> so Black Mirror Bandersnatch was the new or is the new Netflix choose your own adventure game that they made. I don't know if you would call it a game or a movie or an episode. I I don't know. It's a, it's a thing. It's definitely a thing. And honestly, it was just a waste of potential in my opinion. I was really hoping for this to be great and it just it was just ultimately underwhelming. But let me start with some positives. Um the technology worked flawlessly. Uh the programmers at Netflix really nailed it. Um you know, making your choices flowed, you know, perfectly into whatever choice you made. You know, the scenes don't cut. It just keeps on going. And I thought or I mean if it does it, it probably does cut, but it's not really noticeable. And I thought that was really impressive. Um yeah, it's just the story itself and the yeah, the story, it's just not not that great. It's very much up its own ass. Like it it thinks it's smarter than it really is. And honestly, at times I thought it got really corny. You know, whereas it should use the whole choose your own adventure gimmick as a tool to tell a great story. It really just relies on it way too heavily and at times, like I said before, it just gets really corny. It, you know, I don't want to spoil it, but it just does some stuff that are just kind of ridiculous and was something that I was really hoping that they didn't do. You know, ultimately at the end of the day, the episode just doesn't have anything to say. Um, you know, great Black Mirror episodes, they, you know, they sort of warn you about, you know, a terrible thing that could happen if technology advances, you know, if certain types of technology advances and then, you know, it, it sort of warns you about bad stuff that can happen. This has none of that. There's no message to the episode whatsoever. Um, it's, you know, as to what's actually happening is incredibly vague. It, like, it just doesn't really say anything. It, there's things that happen and by the end of it it's just like it could be this but it could also just be this um yeah so uh, th th what I really didn't like about it was um just the heavily it, it just relies on the whole choose your own adventure gimmick right where it's right it like incorporates you making choices into the story and it just didn't work at all like the bit where he finds out that you know where you can choose that netflix is you know that you're a viewer on netflix and you're making choices for him and he learns about it like all that stuff it, it just didn't work and then you know like so i from what i could tell there were like three endings right there's the one ending where you can kill your dad there's the one ending where you like find out what's going on, I think. Yeah. And then there's the ending where you're talking to the psychi psychiatrist and then you like get into this weird fight with her and then your dad drags you out. And from those three endings, the conclusion that I drew was that he's just crazy. Okay. But then what's the whole thing with us making choices? And him realizing that it's Netflix, and then what about the the other the the other computer hack the the computer coder that he's also aware of what's happening, but you know there's the there's the one ending where he where he jumps off the the balcony that goes nowhere like he was aware of what's happening, but that went nowhere, and all the endings sort of suggest that the guy is just crazy, so. Like, ultimately, like, what's the point of everything that happened? Like, nothing, like, it, it just had nothing to say. And, you know, Black Mirror episodes usually have something to say. And, yeah, like, this just, it, it was just a big waste of potential, in my opinion. But, I mean, and, you know, like, honestly, I guess my, my main gripe with the, with, with the, with the episode game, movie, whatever the hell you want to call it, is that at the end of the day, it's just kind of pointless no meaning nothing it doesn't say anything about anything 
And I mean, you know, like the actors, they're fine. You know, the technology works great, as I said before. Um, it's just, yeah, the, the story just wasn't particularly interesting. Um, but I mean, would I recommend it? Yeah. I mean, it's on Netflix, it's free, so you might as well try it out. The technology is really cool, and I think that they can do something really interesting with it in the future. So, um, yeah, if you've seen it, uh, let me know. Maybe I missed something. I don't know, maybe there's another ending that's I missed that was interesting and sort of answers some of the questions that I had at the end of the uh, that I had at the end of the at, at the end of the day. Um, yeah, and if you enjoyed this review, comment, like, subscribe, hit the bell thing that I don't really understand how any of, any of this stuff works. Uh, yeah.